and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a DIY tutorial, or yeah, DIY, on um, something I promised a long time ago and then I thought that the these jars from Ikea had been discontinued. Well, um, miraculously my husband went back one day and he saw them, so he bought me two more. And what I'm talking about is these, uh, they're, they're bell jars cheapest I've ever found they're, they're found at Ikea they I have a smaller one and this one was about $12.99 and I think the smaller one was $10.99 or $9.99 um, not sure but anyways so this is where I got that from Ikea now I you can do however you want basically you know I'm just helping you trying to have this thing set and not fall apart um, but just some ideas I'm trying to keep this as natural as possible and as cheaply as possible um, having spent money on only the glue the moss which I bought a long time ago but I did spend money on it and um, this styrofoam this half styrofoam ball which I'm going to be gluing to the base of the bell jar that would that circular wooden piece um, some other tips to acquiring some now, if you want to spend the money in the floral department and buy all these things, by all means. But, you know, I'm trying to keep this cheap and relatively simple to do. So, basically, some good tips on acquiring materials. Uh, pine cones. You know, someone in your neighborhood has a pine cone tree that they never pick up the pine cones. So, that's a free item there. Also, um, I had been hoarding these seeds, these seed pods, for quite a while. And they're all dried out now, but I thought they were really, really cool. And they are, they are natural. Um, seashells if you live by the sea. Um, I picked some seashells a long time ago so I thought maybe I could use a couple silver dollars or yeah silver dollars or whatever they're called in this. Also another tip if now this is a great project to do um, like after Valentine's Day or birthday or Mother's Day anytime that you get free fresh flower arrangements because you know eventually they'll go bad so what you can do to prevent them from wilting like this completely, see I didn't catch this one in time, is once the plant starts dying, what you do is you flip them over straight like this and you bundle them and you put them like in a, a dark, cool, dry place until they completely dry out. And when they dry out, they maintain their color. They are standing up straight like this, not so much wilted like that. And um, it just, it dries a lot better. So do that. Also, some some feathers if you have feathers and again I have um, a lot of dried flowers, dried leaves, um, maybe a candle. Also another thing that you need to buy that I do highly recommend for this project is sheet moss. It does kind of smell funny but uh, so we're going to take this right now and then we're going to put glue all over our styrofoam and then we're just going to try and cover the the ball also one other thing you'll need is scissors and a hot glue gun as you can see here they actually sell rolls of glue sticks and uh, I saw them at the, store, at the store the other day had to have it I was like this is going to make my life so much easier oh yes so um, that's what I'm gonna do so let's go ahead and start on this shall we Now at this point, just to kind of save some material, get your scissors and then just trim around this. And then just kind of going around and 
covering any bare spots that show your styrofoam ball. And eventually have something like this and then if you want to double check it just to make sure you can even cover your okay so that's that's good so now here comes the part where you can decorate and go all nuts with it this is what I'm going to be doing so just watch And then, you know, just every so often when you put stuff in, just check with your belt jar to make sure you can cover it and it doesn't smash it. Another tip, cut it at an angle so that way it's nice and, sh nice and sharp and it can easily go in your styrofoam. So here's the finished product. Um, it's a little more cramped than another example I'm about to show you, but I actually, I mean, I like it a lot. It's got, you know, a few, few different things in here that I'm able to use. Remember, you can utilize all those lovely flowers that you get for Mother's Day, your birthday, Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be as busy as mine. You know, you just can, you can put your own creative juice into it. Also, here's another example of one that I made a while ago that inspired this tutorial. Uh, you know, I did it long before I thought about, hmm, maybe I should show people how to do it. This one's a little bit more simple, but I also quite like it a lot. So there are just a few different things that you could do here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great night. Bye-bye.